My name is Robert. I work for the U.S. government. Your friend Dave Flores disappeared during a sightseeing trip outside Area 51, a military base located near Groom Lake, Nevada. I'm here to gather information on what happened. You understand this will be recorded. State your name for the record. Tina Diaz. Whose idea was it to approach Area 51? James. It was James's stupid idea. Have you spoken to him yet? We will be. He wanted to drive out from LA to Vegas, stay for a night, and then head north to see this place. State your name for the record. Charles Davidson. So how'd this all begin? Hey, James wanted to go. Now, he still believes in that Roswell crack. Thinks there's aliens out there or UFOs or some nonsense. <laughs> and what did you think was there? Oh, nothing I wanted to get involved with. I mean, you put something that far out of the way. I, I don't even want it. Right, it was just an excuse for me to go to Vegas. State your name for the record. James Robson. I'm told it was your idea to drive out to Groom Lake in Area 51. Yeah. I was curious. I saw a few documentaries on it and wanted to see it in person. Thought that maybe we'd see some fighter jets or something. I wanted to see what all the fuss is about. Did Dave want to go? It was my idea, but they wanted, they all wanted to go. Nobody forced them into the car. Tina even researched some hill to climb so that we could see some of the buildings. Yeah, I did some research. I had to know what we were getting into. And I'll admit, it was very fascinating. I wondered what we might see. There's a reason they... Well, you guys keep that place so hidden. We shouldn't have climbed that hill. Dave didn't want to go. I pushed it. I thought we were just going to look at the signs and then go back to Caesars in Vegas. You know, the signs. Use of deadly force, authorized. Ooh, like you see on TV. Sounds stupid to say it out loud. What happened when you climbed the hill? Is that when you lost Dave? We got to the top of the hill, and suddenly there was this bright flash. In the blink of an eye, there was something above us. It was like something I had never seen. It didn't make any noise. I, I didn't see it fly up to us, it was just... there. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. Shapes that I've never even seen before. And it was silent, totally silent. I looked around and realized that Dave wasn't there. Tina was to my left and Charles was to my right, but there was no Dave. And out there you could see for miles. He was just gone. So you left. You didn't take any pictures of this craft, correct? A drawing or, or notes maybe? What, what pic pictures or notes? What are you talking about? No, the next thing I remember is that we there were security guards coming at us in pickup trucks. They're called the camo dudes. I had heard that they couldn't touch us if, as long as we were on public land. And those dudes look like they meant busy. I was ready to get the hell off of that hill. James and Charles froze. I didn't see Dave. I knew we couldn't just stand there. I just started running and they followed me. And you didn't see Dave while you were running? That's correct. What about the craft? What about it? Did you make any photo or video recordings? 
I'm not sure what this has to do with Dave. Just answer the question. Yeah, um... I snapped a photo of it before I realized Dave was missing. When was the last time you heard from James or Tina? Uh, from the thick of it, it's been a few days now. Please give me your phone. What? Your phone, now. <laughs> I'm giving you my phone? Look, are, are James and Tina okay? And, and what do you know about Dave? Where is he? No. She didn't send me anything. You're telling me you didn't receive a text yesterday at 10.13 a.m.? How, how do you know that? Where is Dave? Sit down. What did you do with Dave? Did you send it to anyone? No. You're sure? Yeah. That's not how we understand it. Huh? Who's there? It must be my partner, Agent Hillier. I'm sorry. Huh? For what I have to do. 